In 1958, 22-year-old Mexican journalist Manuel Magido, accompanied by three friends, is interviewing renowned Spanish artist Pablo Picasso at the artist's estate in La California, on Tibet in the south of France. The interview is progressing, when Picasso excuses himself and disappears for a couple of hours. When he returns to the interview, Picasso invites Magido and his friends to come and see his latest creation, The Garlands of Peace, painted on Magido's borrowed Citroen DS. The quick-thinking journalist is impressed but tells Picasso his work of art is nothing without the Spanish great signature, so Picasso Dulé signs his name above the DS's wheel arch, marking probably the first time Picasso's signature has appeared on a Citroen. It certainly wasn't the last time. Picasso's signature has been licensed by the French carmaker since the mid-1990s and has appeared on a range of Citroen cars, including the one we have on test today, the Citroen Grand C4 Picasso. Citroen 7-seat people mover is almost a throwback to another time, a time when SUVs didn't rule the roost, and if you needed a family hauler that could seat more than five people, you bought a people mover. Okay. You probably bought a Toyota Tarago, the ubiquitous van-shaped brick on wheels that littered Aussie roads in the 1980s and 90s. Today, of course, seven-seat SUVs are everywhere, meaning large families are spoiled for choice when it comes to hauling around their broods of snotty brats. That's left the once ubiquitous people mover on the outer. Let's look at some numbers. Last year, just 13,551 people movers found new homes. That represents a minuscule 1.1% of the new car market. Compare that with the 39.2% market share SUVs enjoy, ok, not all are seven-seaters, and a picture is emerging of where buyers' tastes lie in the 21st century. But is a well-sorted people mover a viable, even attractive, alternative to a flotilla of cookie-cutter large SUVs? On test we have Citroen's range-shopping Grand C4 Picasso diesel that rolls out of the showroom for $45,400 plus the usual on-road costs. Our test car came with optional Leslie Blue metallic paint, $800, and a rather sumptuous black and beige Napa leather interior, $5,000, bringing the as-tested price to $51,200, plus on-roads. For budget-conscious families, there is a cheaper and new for 2018 1.6-liter petrol variant available that starts at $38,490. But our focus is on the grandest of Grand C4 Picassos, and in terms of features it doesn't disappoint. Standard inclusions abound at every level. On the safety front, the Citroen crams in the Active Driver Assist Pack, Adaptive Cruise Control, Autonomous Emergency Braking, Lane Keep Assist, Blind Spot Monitoring and driver attention alert that sends audible warnings when the car detects the driver is becoming drowsy. There are six airbags that cover the occupants of the first two rows but no protection for the third row, a bit of a letdown. That hasn't impacted on its safety rating, however, with the Grand C4 Picasso sporting a 5-star ANCAP rating, tested in 2014. There's a 360-degree camera, and front and rear sensors, helping with those tricky parking maneuvers should you choose not to use the standard park assist that does the job for you. Infotainment comes courtesy of a 7.0-inch color touchscreen featuring a rather excellent proprietary 3D sat-nav system, Bluetooth phone and audio streaming, Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. There's dual-zone climate control with vents in the second and third rows, although second and third row passengers had better juice up their devices before a long road trip since there are no charge points in either, with 12 volts, auxiliary and USB points reserved exclusively for front seat occupants. There's no questioning Citroen's be different. Feel good. Philosophy is at play with the Grand C4 Picasso. Or with any Citroen for that matter. The French carmaker has a history of doing things its own way, certainly when it comes to styling. From the outside, the Grand C4 Picasso looks like standard people mover fare, albeit a little less boxy than some others on the market. Once inside, though, is where Citroen's predilection for be different comes to the fore. It is, appropriately enough, almost a work of art, a melding of light and functionality that just makes you, well, feel good. Being inside the Grand C4 Picasso is like being inside an airliner, complete with class distinction. The front seats are like being in first class, spacious, comfortable and with all the creature comforts within easy reach, and even more so for the front passenger who scores a reclining seat along with an extendable footrest. It's not quite lie flat, 
but it's bloody close. Second row occupants are treated to three distinct seats, as opposed to a bench, and while they retain the look and feel of the front views, are less spacious, think premium economy, while third row occupants have to make do with the jump seats usually reserved for flight attendants. Great for short stints, not so much for long haul traveling.